So today we're gonna take a close look at my one year and then nine months old Hermes Birkin bag and I'm also gonna go into the wear and tear pro and cons investment value in details. Watch the video until the end because I'm gonna share my final thoughts with you guys if you are looking to get one. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So this is my Birkin 30 in Togo leather Ito color and this is the gold hardware. This is how the bag looks closed but I usually keep it open. And this is how you open the bag and you turn the hardware and then you open the bag this way. And then you open the flap. It's quite a lot of work to open the bag. And it said Hermes Paris made in France. Hardware details. And this is how the side looks like. And bottom has four feet. This is the back. The Togo leather is fine grained and a scratch resistant. It's lightweight than the Clemence leather but heavier than the Epson leather. It also holds the shape pretty well compared to Clemence leather but of course not as good as Epson leather. But you see the real appearance of the leather and it feels really really nice. So I have some air bubbles to just keep the shape of the bag. This is how it looks inside there's zipper pocket and then also there's another pocket in the front as well and there's a serial number here on the side of the bag my essay told me do not show the stamp because it will help people that make fake birkings to make bags based on the real serial number that we have when you buy the bag, it also comes the clochette. I just don't use it because it has some weight and I just don't want to add that extra weight on my bag. It's just personal preference. And it also comes with a raincoat. It's supposed to protect the bag from the rain, but simply when it's raining, I don't even bring it out. What's funny is I saw some people open it up online and they never able to put it back because it's too complicated. And also the raincoat has a gap so it doesn't protect anything around the handle so the ring will still get in so I don't know what's the point of this ring code but I've never used it the other thing I want to briefly mention is that my bag is in the retorn style which appear more relaxed and a slouchier look compared to Sally 8 and also you can see the stitching is actually inside of the bag versus the Sally 8, the stitching is outside of the bag. If you prefer more structured look for Birkin, definitely go for the Sally 8 style. There's definitely Sally 8 style available. I know some of you comment on my videos that you already got the Sally 8 Birkin. Lucky you. But I'm fine with how the retorn Birkin looks like. It's very relaxed and laid back look. It really goes with everything. I usually just carry it or put it on my wrist. If you want to, you can also carry it as a shoulder bag, but I rarely do so. so. I don't need to show you guys what fits because I did it in my other videos and also it does fit a lot of items. So if you guys wanted to check out my other videos, I'll link them down below so you can take a look. The beginning of few months of 2020, I didn't get to use the bag much because of all the craziness. But second half of 2020, I started using this bag more and I really try to take the bag out every time when I have an opportunity because I really, really wanted to enjoy it. So I used it way more frequent ever since the second half of 2020. First, I want to show you guys the wear and tear on the hardware. During my research, I saw a lot of people have like those residual marks from not peeling the sticker off and also one of the most crazy story that I have seen is somebody peel off the sticker after a while their gold hardware become palladium hardware that's the last thing I wanted to happen instead of me enjoying this bag have scratches on the hardware I know a lot of you thinking that to keep the stick on to protect the bag it's totally up to you it's a decision that I made so I peer off the sticker early on I can tell you there's definitely scratches on the hardware it's not too crazy but but I don't know if the camera can pick it up there's definitely scratches in here and there on the hardware it's not that bad and i'm actually really happy about it because i feel me leaving some mark on the bag it shows me really wearing this bag and enjoying this 
bag. So the next part is the handle wear. If you want to protect the makeup or greasy hands and stuff, you should wear Twilly. I don't wear Twilly all the time, but I do put it on sometimes. And the other thing, it can protect the, the scratch with your jewelry that you're wearing. Just when I'm out, there is a chance that the watch will scratch the handle. And especially when I'm wearing my CDC bracelet because it has the pyramid stud, so it definitely scratch on it a, a few times. I even felt it. Surprisingly, the handle is made super sturdy. I don't see any marks on it, but this is definitely something you need to be careful. If you know you're wearing like very sharp jewelry, you should definitely put the Twilly on just in case. The other thing that I notice is sometimes I carry the bag like this way. You see that the handle actually push this bag in, the bag all twisted. So far the shape is okay, but when you're holding the bag, don't try to constantly doing this, like try to hold it too close to your body because this puts pressure on this part. If you want to protect your bag, you should try to like carry it more evenly. You can do a little bit, but you don't have to like press the handle so hard. This is just something that I noticed. Next, let's talk about the shape. So Togo leather does not hold shape as well as Epsom leather, but overall it's still okay. And one year and nine months old, it looks pretty decent and I don't see like crazy changing shape or anything. Smaller bag does not get slouchy easily over time. The bigger the bag is, the easier it will get slouchy over time. Birkin 30 is okay, not considered too big, so I don't see it will become like too crazy, sag or slouchy. I know a lot of you asked the, me for the insert recommendation. I'm not using any insert at this moment. I might do some research in the future, see which one is good. But so far, I'm okay without using any insert because it's such an expensive bag. And if you're using insert, that's not that good. It actually does more harm to the bag than the good. So I wanted to make sure that I'm definitely using like a good insert and I will research on it. If I do find any good ones, I'll definitely share with you guys in the future. And the way how I maintain the shape is I only put the air bubbles that comes with my purchase and then I also got some myself and I just put the air bubbles in the bag to stuff it to maintain its shape when I'm not using it. And then I rotating the bag between the standing and lying down position from time to time. And if you guys are interested, I can also do a how to care for your Hermes bag video to go into details how you should care for your bag. And then next I'll show you guys the leather. Because the Togo leather is scratch resistant and I basically have no marks, and that the corners are really, really good too. And no wear on the corners either. This Togo leather has some veining, but it's not crazy. It's still pretty much the same as how it looks when I first got it. Then I don't use it on the rainy days. And this is pretty much all the wear and tear on the back. The biggest pro is of course its quality and the craftsmanship because these bags are handmade. Only top and qualified artisans can make bags like Birkin. So it's definitely a lot of work put in here and every bag is so unique. And just looking at this, they make me feel so special. So the quality is definitely second to none. They are just so amazing. Another pro is that they're so classy and so chic timeless and it doesn't go out of style after so many years. The third pro is when you keep the bag open and I really like how easy it is to get stuff in, in and out. And I really like the laid back look of it. You can dress up and down. It instantly elevate your style with any look. I will wear sweatshirt, leggings, and a gym outfit with it. It still looks so good. Also because I got it in neutral color, it goes with even more looks. And another pro is that it's really big enough for all my daily essentials that I need. I think the biggest pro is that luxury is that can be repaired. You know, if something happened to your Birkin bag, you can always send it to Spar. Hermes will take their bag in to Spar on the two condition. If the bag is real authentic and if you didn't do any other work outside of Hermes, they will definitely repair and fix the bag for you. This is the ultimate luxury because 
I don't think any other brands can ever do this for you and this is the reason that the bag can be passed along many many generations because you can prepare it i know togo leather is not as lightweight as epson leather togo leather is really really nice leather the other nice thing about togo leather is this type of leather can be easily repaired so it's very spa friendly if you wanted to thinking about the repair fix it in the future it doesn't have a shoulder strap if you are looking for a shoulder strap this is definitely not the bag for you the bag itself is not too heavy but i could see that if you carry a lot of stuff especially this is a toe style and over time it can get really really heavy if you put that much stuff the other con is it's a really expensive bag and it also requires purchase history and even that a lot of times it's so hard to get the exact leather hardware color combo that you want i think a birkin 30 in togo leather is fine but if you choose like a really big size birkin and also clamon's leather they will get more slouchier over time so this is something that you have to consider if you don't like the slouchy look and then some people think it's really hard to open if you want to keep the flap on the back and get stuff in and out it is a lot of work but since i keep it open it's not a problem for me but this is something that you need to know i also have another video to talk about reasons not to buy Birkin that go into details all the cons that this Birkin bag has and definitely feel free to check out that video I'll put it down in the description box so you know all the cons before you buy the bag of course the resale value of the bag has a lot to do with the condition of your bag and also color size leather of your bag right smaller size neutral color sells higher price than bigger size and all the crazy weird colors nowadays right but it all depends but overall i still think a birkin is a really great investment compared to a lot of other brands in the market birkin salier is so in trend right now and a lot of people like the structured look and they're really hard to get and i don't know if you guys noticed some of the birkin salier can resell for twenty nine thousand, which is crazy and even the return togo birkin in really great condition are reselling for higher price compared to before i'll leave some of the link in my description box down below so you can check out their price so me and my husband actually spent a lot of time and energy got this bag in paris if you're interested i'll link the video down below in the description box you can check it out but besides so much effort that we put in to get this bag i really found myself enjoy this bag more as i'm getting older the other thing i noticed is the more i use it the more i enjoy it every time i carry this bag it's just spark a joy inside of me and the happy happiness that it brought me when I'm using it is totally priceless. I think we all buy bags for our happiness. If I think from that perspective, it's totally worthwhile. The most important thing is, like I mentioned, the luxury is that something can be repaired. This put me at ease. I feel that I don't have to worry about the wear and tear too much i can totally enjoy this bag because i know the spa option is always there for me and i know this bag i can carry it for a very long time and pass along to my future generations for me owning one birkin is way better than owning a lot of other random bags it's totally worth it so i hope this video is helpful and informative definitely leave me a comment down below let me know if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye!